is Suzanne with SKP, and I'm here with Kendra and Roseanne, um, the owners of the West Riley in Dexter, Kansas. Um, so yeah, thanks for having us out today, guys. Um, we're really excited to learn about your business. So tell us about the West Riley. What is the West Riley? Sure, so we are a furniture store in uh, the heart of downtown Dexter. Mm -hmm. um, we sell used uh, vintage and um, gently used furniture and uh, home decor, as you can see. And um, we have we have a, uh, quite the collection of mm -hmm. items here in the store. Very cool. Um, yeah, so tell us, how did you guys get your name, The West Riley? Def that is probably the main question that we get. You can see we've got it up here on the wall. Um, so obviously we are Kendra and Roseanne Riley, so mm -hmm. the Riley part was relatively easy. And the West part of it is, um, so this, Roseanne is my mother, mm -hmm. and where I was raised, was about a mile east of where my grandparents um, mm -hmm. basically homesteaded uh, here in Cali County in the late 30s. And they, so they were, you know, west of us mm -hmm. then. And so the name is really kind of a nod to them and to the heritage that they gave us and the values and the ethics and all of that. And so we just kind of wanted to, um, to give that to them and then also be able to uh, use the name mm -hmm. for anything that we can, um, you know, products and that sort of thing. It, it just kind of worked. Very cool. That's really cool to keep that family name going too. Definitely. Yeah. Um, so tell us, yeah, when did you guys start your business? It's fairly new, right? <laughs> it is. So we bought this actual building in um, January this year and then started renovating. And the goal was to be open by the Dexter Barbecue. So um, in six months, uh, we were able to kind of clean the whole place up and give it a new fresh face. And then, um, so uh, officially have been open for December makes six months. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. the same Saturday in July. Yeah. yeah. Barbecue. Absolutely. That's really awesome. Yeah, so um, where do you get all of your inventory? <laughs> it's from a little bit of everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, most of our, our initial products started coming from uh, Southern California. We have friends out there that help us collect things. So that's why uh, several of the pieces that we have in here you won't necessarily find around here, mm -hmm. but then we've also um, gone estate sales shopping around here, and um, just people that are want to clean out barns yeah. and and their own houses too. So we've been able to pick up a few pieces here and there. We also have some really great um, handcrafted artisan mm -hmm. items that we can show as we go here, and those sorts of things just kind of add a little extra flair to our inventory. Very cool. Yeah, and Roseanne, you sew a lot, so you actually yes, upholster a lot of yes. the items yes. that come in that need that. So yeah. that's really cool mm -hmm. to offer to the community. So, yeah. Um, so why did you guys choose to come back to Dexter? Well, so I was born and raised here um, and, you know, graduated high school here and then left town. And so it's kind of the, um, the typical way that, that rural America, the theme that is happening or the, the um, dynamic is um, young people leave their small communities. And so I'm one of those kids that came back and that's when we, we were talking about, we have the inventory, we have the idea, where do we want to do it? Why not Dexter? You know, yeah. there's... Um, the opportunity here between having the um, the space to do it, which granted it, it needed a lot of work, oh, but yes. but having um, having the opportunity to to build something in Dexter and help build the economic base in Dexter, mm -hmm. if we can um, add to what the school is doing, and there are so many amazing things happening at the Dexter school system. If we can help contribute to that, to the economic development of the town, to to um, increase and, and help boost what's going on with the school. We were all for that. Mm -hmm. So that's why we just really thought, you know, Dexter, it has to be here. It Come absolutely home. has to be is here. what she said. Come home. Yeah. Come yeah. home. That's really cool. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, so you guys are SKP customers. Tell yes. us how the internet helps you just run your business. Sure. So um, Roseanne definitely takes care mm -hmm. of the, um, the upholstery and the cleaning up of items mm -hmm. and all of that. And um, I was tasked with marketing and making the retail side mm -hmm. of it run. Um, first challenge in Dexter is we are, we're in a hole. Mm -hmm. And so um, cell phone signal and just um, internet capabilities were, were a challenge. And SKT was absolutely there for us because we knew that we had to have the mm -hmm. register to work um, consistently anytime that we needed it to. So for us to be able to run credit cards and all of that, we had to have a seamless um, internet availability here. 
So SKT was able to come in and we were, we were kind of down to crunch time when it got set up and, mm -hmm. and we were figuring out what all we needed to, um, you know, just what point of sale systems and all, what do they even require? Cause we, we had no mm -hmm. idea going into this. And so um, the, the internet availability here has been seamless mm -hmm. and customer service has been fantastic. We have, we've had no problems with it whatsoever. Plenty of other issues throughout the, yeah. the learning experience that we've had, but um, that w has been great to not have to worry about that. Very cool. It's been a very invaluable um, research mm -hmm. tool for us because mm -hmm. some of the pieces we get in, like, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> and it's been great to have that access yeah. right here that we can tell what it is mm -hmm. and then uh, price it appropriately mm -hmm. and put yeah. it out for people to buy. That's really <laughs> cool to hear. So. Yeah. Yeah, so tell us, how can people get a hold of you? How can they find your shop and hours and everything like sure. that? Sure. So um, we're open one Saturday a month. That's the game plan. And so the Dexter Barbecue is on the second Saturday of July, and that's kind of what, um, we're, what we went with. So we're open the second Saturday mm -hmm. of every month, and except for December. And so we're open actually all three Saturdays before Christmas in December. So um, we'll be open the, um, the 7th, the 14th, and the 24th. 21st. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And, and our hours are from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Cool. Uh, during those days. And then also um, we have a Facebook page and that is The West Riley mm -hmm. as our, um, our Facebook page. Um, be sure and like and follow us on there and we try to kind of keep up to date on some of the newer things um, that we've got that, uh, that are available and then encourage people to come into the store. Yeah. Well, let's do you guys mind if we take a look around? Absolutely. Show some of the Love to show you around. Perfect. Very cool. Sure. Perfect. Okay. Go ahead and you lead the way. Okay. So let's just go around here. These are um, some of the pieces that we picked up in California. And so some nice furniture um, that uh, definitely is something that could be used as a project mm -hmm. piece. They're great. In, they're in great shape as they are. But if anybody mm -hmm. has an inkling for Pinterest and Pinterest projects, We've got some really great solid bones mm -hmm. in these pieces that would be fantastic. And also we have chairs like these red ones, um, gorgeous carved hardwood chairs, yeah. solid wood chairs that um, if you like faded red, great, they're already <laughs> there. But these are absolutely a project that you could, um, you could really make something your own as far as color and print and all of that. So um, some, some really great opportunities in the pieces that we have here. Yeah. I'd also like to point out these, these are cattle horn weights mm -hmm. and we've had them actually in a box um, since July. They've been just kind of sitting um, with a sign on them, horn weights for sale. And I needed a little um, a weight to hold uh, to kind of prop up a product, and so um, I, what are we going to use? And first, it just hit me. Let's use these, and we had these cute little bottle brush brush trees. <laughs> so they are turns out fantastic for a lot of uses, decorative and um, for little weights. And there's um, we stacked a few of them up so mm -hmm. you can see uh, like a little uh, snowman type thing. That's and really fun. <laughs> just kind of use them, and then. Um, Throw in a, a faux succulent or some cotton, mm -hmm. you know, little cotton plants, and you can use them year round, definitely. Yeah, great little decoration. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is, I have to show this off. <laughs> this is one of our newest things that came in. Um, we went to Southern California again just uh, after the second week in November, and we were able to um, pick up a few things. We have probably half a dozen weather vanes mm -hmm. now. So this is the top portion of a weather vane, um, and so we made the, the base that it sets on and, and able to just display that. So some really fantastic kind of signature pieces, mm -hmm. like staple pieces that you could use in your house to um, then build your, your design and your decorating around. Mm -hmm. the history of the building and um, just the town of Dexter. So this building was actually originally built in 1875. Mm -hmm. The earliest that we can come up with for an actual business that was in here was in um, 1920, it was a meat market. Oh, okay. So things we didn't even know that Dexter had. 
And um, just about a block north of here was the LT Schrader um, hardware store. Mm -hmm. And this tin was actually the ceiling in that hardware store. And so we used it as a really great focal back here um, behind our checkout counter. And then we built the counter and wrapped it with a tin as well. And then we have all the rest of the tin for sale. Oh, cool. So um, just kind of showing off how you can use it. But we were, we were so excited to be able to keep this in town and, and be able to show off the history of, um, of the, you know, some of the old historical mm -hmm. aspects of town. Yeah. Um, the other thing I'd like to point out, so this, um, this little joy sign, we've had several um, metal signs. So the Dexter High School sh metal shop mm -hmm. class, they actually make those and have been selling them. We've had a few in here in the mm -hmm. store too. The shop class is able to completely fund the, um, the class itself through their metal, the sale of their metal art. Mm -hmm. And so we've got a few pieces here in the store. Um, they do custom, custom work up mm -hmm. there too. So it's been really fun to, uh, to be able to, again, kind of the artisan work that can come in, um, but be able to show off what those guys, the, the kids up there can do and um, be able to kind of help support that program yeah. too. That's and really cool to hear. And the sign back there about the art school coffee bar. Yes, so we've got a, a coffee bar in the far back corner. And uh, life begins after coffee. I have a, a pretty deep belief in that too. <laughs> and, and use just corrugated tins mm -hmm. like you would use on barns and, yeah. and things. And that's what they use a lot of scrap mm -hmm. and salvage. Yes. So Definitely. it's, it's right. kind of a win win for mm -hmm. all of that. Yeah. That's really cool. So, one last thing that I'd, I'd really like to show you. So, these are some of our, um, our current pillows, our signature pillows. And so um, Roseanne, the seamstress, makes these. Um, we, we pick out the different colors and, and um, combinations mm -hmm. that can go together. And so the great thing about these pillows is they're, they actually have zippers mm -hmm. in them. So um, you know, if you, if you like to decorate and mm -hmm. change up your decor, but you don't want just a lot of pillows sitting around, yeah. you can just keep the pillow forms. And then as the seasons go pass, then we'll have different patterns mm -hmm. and combinations and you can just unzip just the pillowcase pull the pillow out mm -hmm. and change that out so um, you can have a, a great variety throughout mm -hmm. the year and not have to have so much in storage so um, these are a product that we're going to continue making new ones and have um, have some some uh, interesting combinations as we go we had some really cute fall ones that were little pumpkins and oh. and um, you know the little old-fashioned truck mm -hmm. so um, those were pretty big hits, so yeah, those are those are going to be something that we'll continue to build Very as cool. we go. Yeah. yeah, well, thanks for showing us around. Absolutely, um, we're really excited to highlight your business today. Thank you. Um, yeah, so if you want to come visit the West Riley, um, yeah, just look at their Facebook page. Um, come on the second Saturday of the month, and then next Saturday before Christmas. So thanks for watching today, and um, we hope that you have a good week. Thank you.